as you go deeper into your meditation, you'll get to a place where all perception and feelings stop. There is no perception, there is no feeling. You don't even know you're in that state till you get out of it. When you get out of that state and your mindfulness is strong, you will see all of this all of the links of dependent origination arise and then you'll see if this one doesn't arise then that one won't arise and if that doesn't arise this won't arise it doesn't matter whether you know what this what the links of dependent origination are or not it happens automatically why because that's the way it is Right after that is when Nibbana occurs. I don't know how to describe Nibbana. Nobody can. But what happens to the to the meditator after this experience is such relief and so much happiness that you can hardly sit still and that's when a, a student would come to me and they'd tell me oh I had this experience and I saw a dependent origination I say fine now go sit and they can't they're too happy and that happiness lasts for a long period of time I say a long period of time. And this is the destruction of the defilements. This is how it occurs. The defilements won't even arise anymore. Now, if you practice Vipassana with most people, they'll tell you, when you have the experience of Nibbana, then the first time that happens, you've become a Sotapanna. That means a stream enterer. And the next time it happens, then you become an anagami. That means a once returner. And the next time that happens, you become an anagami. And then the next time that happens, you become an arahat. That is not in agreement with the suttas. In the Satipatthana Sutta, which happens to be in this book somewhere, It says, Whoever monks should practice these four foundations of mindfulness for just seven years may expect one of two results. One of two. We're not talking about four here. It says, Either our hardship in this lifetime, or if there should still be a little bit of attachment, you'll become a non-returner. let alone seven years whoever should practice for just six years five years four years two years or three years two years one year may expect one of the two results let alone one year whoever should practice should practice for seven months six months five months four months three months two months half a month may expect one of two things to occur now, it's not talking about you have to have, you have to become a stream enterer and then a once returner and a non returner and then an arahat. It's not talking about that at all. It says very plainly if you're practicing the way that he's teaching, you're either going to be an arahat or an anagami. Now, where did these other two stages come in? People became Sotapanna, stream enterer, or once returner by straightening out their views, by letting go 
of their view. And you see that in the first discourse that the Buddha gave. One of the monks he was talking to became a Sotapanna while he was talking. How did that occur? Some questions he had as to the way things worked got cleared up and his mind became so pure that he experienced Nibbana. The only way you can get to the the uh, other two, the top two stages is through meditation. Interesting stuff. <laughs> <laughs>